So here we are, about 18 months later. I didn't think it would take us this long to get here, but um, we're finally ready to reveal uh, the inside of Mini, the work we've been doing for the past 18 months. Just to refresh your memory, this is a um, seven foot wide by 16 foot long by seven foot high cargo trailer. Uh, it was completely empty on the inside when we bought it. We did have windows added and a door added, and it has barn doors on the back, which I'll show you in a little while. But um, if you go and watch our first video, it shows you everything that, um, how it looked in the beginning, which was completely empty. And um, I talked a little bit about um, all of our plans to build it out to what, what you see today. And it's pretty much, um, worked out the way we had planned it. So let's go inside and see how it looks. Well, before we go in, let's take a look at what we've done outside. We haven't done a whole lot, but we did add a, an awning. Um, we both put, we put, put this up one weekend by ourselves and it just rolls up and clips, clips up to five minutes and I can do it all by myself, very easy. And it's a great, it, it makes the trailer look a little bit more like an RV on the outside. So let's go in now and see what we've done. So this is the RV door that we had installed with when it was first built with the window in it, which helps with lighting on the inside. So I, um, when we step in, our air conditioner is right here and I'm gonna turn that off just so uh, you can, it's very loud so I don't want it to interfere with the video. So talking about the air conditioner a little bit, um, we had, that was probably our, our toughest decision um, there's so many things you can do. You could do a ceiling, um, RV air conditioner, or you could do a window air conditioner. But all of those, those both of those um, options require putting a hole either in the roof or the window or the side of your um, cargo trailer. And we didn't really want to do that. So we settled on a portable air conditioner and we did a test first to check if we wanted a dual hose or single hose. And I also have a video on that if you want to take a look at that video. Um, and we decided on a dual hose that worked best for us. Um, we decided to vent it out at the bottom so there's no holes in the roof or on the side so there's no way for um, air rain to get leak into the holes so it's worked very well um, we've taken many out a couple times on trips and we've always been cool and um, it's worked like I said really really well so let's t walk in past the air conditioner and well before we go in i'll show you our um, storage that we put over the air conditioner um, it goes all the way to the v nose the v nose is up front here and we're just um, hanging some clothes up there um, it's there's tons of space in here so we could really put anything um, paper towels dog food anything can go up there we also have a an exhaust fan vent for the shower, exhaust fan for the shower, and we turn that on whenever we're going to shower so it exhausts the steam outside and not into the trailer. Okay, so that is our storage, and this is the air conditioner, and we built a cover for it just to make it look a little bit better. Added a couple vents to let the air flow, and it's our air conditioner. So we'll, st we'll step in and start with the bathroom. 
And this was a big thing for me. I really wanted um, a bathroom and a shower and toilet. It was very important. This is the one thing that I really, really wanted. So when we were laying out the trailer, we decided that probably the best place for the shower was the Vino's. So this is what we did. We put it in and you could still see the shape of the Vino's. Um, we built the shower completely um, ourselves. No pre-made pieces except for the metal, of course. But we built a, a, floor, a waterproof floor, waterproof um, walls, and we ended up putting the corrugated metal over top. Um, we trimmed it all out in vinyl trim, so it's all waterproof, and put a nice shower head in. And we also built um, a mat, a wood mat, just to make the bottom look a little bit better. Um, but it's off the floor a little bit so the water can flow underneath. And that is out of Ippy Wood, which is Brazilian walnut. Very hard, um, great for water. It doesn't rot or anything, so it's worked really, really well. We also built, which was a big thing on, on Facebook apparently, um, a footrest so that I could shape my legs like ladies do. And that's worked out really, really well. Um, if I can get it off here, I'll show you. It just clips in with a, um, a cleat and it just hangs on there so if we need to remove it if it's in the way we just remove it and it just sticks on there and you put your foot up and it works great so as you can see there's a whole lot of room in here um, you know you can't dance in here but you can get a shower uh, the vent that we built put in is over here the fan the exhaust fan and it's worked really really well a lot better than I thought it would it would work so that is the shower and then we come to our commode our toilet and it's just in a little space here we built this wall here to separate it from the kitchen and I have a little bit of storage well a lot of it a lot a lot of storage in there for our towels and our toiletries and then the bottom I have um, there's a lot of storage under there as well and I just made this quick little curtain to to hide it so that we can get in plus our plumbing um, for the shower is back there so you can at least get to the plumbing if we have problems so the shower is there it's a porcelain um, I'm sorry the toilet is there it's a porcelain bowl, but it's an RV um, toilet, and it's raised a little bit, and it's worked really well when we're at a campground. We don't have to use the bathhouse, so it's been great. It's been great. So I also just put in, because I didn't really have a place for a mirror, and I only have one sink in the, bath, in the kitchen, so I put a mirror up that I can open, and stand here and get ready in the morning and um, I can see myself it's a little bit bigger than a round one it's not full length but I'm camping I don't really need to look at my whole self um, and it's worked really well so that is our bathroom and we move over into the kitchen so like I said we built this wall to separate the bathroom and the kitchen. Um, we discussed for a long time putting a, a wall and a door on the bathroom, but after using the bathroom a couple times camping, we decided that this is only a hundred square feet that we're in and putting a, a door or curtain would really close in the bathroom and close in the open space we have here and you wouldn't really be able to do a whole lot in the in the bathroom so we decided to leave it off if we decide at some point 
that we really need a little more privacy, um, we'll put something up, but it's worked out well. So let's move on to the kitchen and um, we have a lot of space in here um, and we've used it a lot. Um, I'm glad we did what we did. We don't have a stove. Um, we, we decided not to put a stove in because we cook outside. We have an in induction um, plate that we take outside to cook. So that's been a good decision because it really gives us a lot of extra counter space. Um, we do have a refrigerator and this is a dorm size, just a regular uh, refrigerator that you find in Home Depot and um, it's out of the way. I kind of wish it was a little bit bigger, um, but it's fine for us. Um, it's only the two of us. We use a a cooler as well if we need extra space but I like that it's out of the way and I have all this extra counter space so speaking of counters this is my um, my my little baby project um, this is a walnut butcher block that we got on deep discount from uh, floor and decor it was a started out as a 12 foot slab that they were trying to get rid of. It was all damaged and split and it was really a mess and um, they just wanted to get rid of it. So we bought it and knew that we could cut it down to the, sp to the size we needed and that's what we did. We brought it home and cut off the bad pieces and this is the good pieces that were left. So it took me two weeks and um, I sanded and refinished it and made it waterproof and brought the beautiful grain out and um, I love it. It's, it's a really nice piece in the camper and it's held up. It holds up to water very well. I just wipe it when it gets wet and um, it, it really makes it in the, in the camper I think. So um, we did the countertop. We cut out um, the opening for the undermount sink and we put a nice faucet in that has electronic on and off which is really nice in a camper because you can't waste water you can't waste hot water so to turning it on and off I just have to wave my hand in front and it turns the water off I don't have to worry about it running and running and running so that's really been nice for the kitchen so I also have added a backsplash. Um, this is removable wallpaper. Um, I really, really like it. It's taken me, uh, took me three tries to get it to look like this. Um, I tried peel and stick tiles first, twice, and they did not work out well at all. So I ended up taking them off for a third time. I tried one other thing that didn't work and I found this um, removable wallpaper it was very easy to put up. Um, it wipes off very well. If I need to move it, I can move it. And if I need to take it off, I can take it off and it doesn't damage the wall at all. So um, I like the little bit of pattern that it adds to this small space and um, I like that it was easy to put up. So we also added a couple of shelves here. Um, this is also the walnut that you see on the countertops. This was extra that we had. So I just, um, we just cut out a couple pieces and put them up on the wall. I put my dishes up here um, when we are parked, our glasses so we don't have to root around underneath the sink and we can just grab what we need and it's right there. Of course, when we travel, everything comes off and goes under the cabinet, and so we don't have to worry about anything rolling around when we're when we're traveling. So that is the kitchen. Um, underneath, we built these cabinet doors. Um, everything that you see is was built custom by us. Um, everything had to be custom in order to fit in here but we have some heavy duty magnets 
um, to keep the doors closed when we travel. And we have lots of storage down here for our silverware, uh, glasses, plates, uh, food. We put all our food down here. Our induction cooktop is, sits down there. And um, really a ton of storage down here. So that's the kitchen. And um, uh, before we move on to the bedroom, I just wanted to show you the my window coverings. So these are the windows that we had the trailer company put in for us. We just figured it would be easier. Um, they already had them. They knew what they were doing. They had done it before. So we let them do that at an at a extra cost, of course. But um, we were glad that we had that already done and didn't have to worry about it. So for the windows, I just bought these woven shades. Uh, very easy to put up, um, adds a little bit of texture, and they are room darkening. So when we go to bed at night, we just put the shades down. Can't The sun doesn't come in. Um, if it's hot out, I can shut them. The heat doesn't come in. And when we travel, of course, we keep them up all the way so they don't roll around and bang against the wall. Um, but I really like them really easy to put up, as I said, you know, to install. And um, they add a little bit of texture in here. So I think that's it. We can move on to the bedroom. And this is our bedroom here. This is the first thing that we built. It is, yes, a king size bed in a 100 foot, foot square, 100 square foot space. Um, this was important for both of us because because we do sleep in a king size bed now. Um, we discussed putting just a queen size mattress in when we were be, before we built it and decided that the 18 inches that you we would gain from a queen size bed really wouldn't um, give us a whole lot of extra space um, of course any any inch that you get in a hundred square feet is is added space but 18 inches really wasn't that important to us having a king size bed was so we ended up putting the king size bed in um, and we put the shiplap wall in the back we built that first as well to close off the back of the trailer where the barn doors are and Roger will take you um, out back there when we're done in here and we put the bed built the platform put the mattress in and we also have storage we built storage in these deep shelves they go all halfway through um, underneath the bed very deep um, and we can hold everything in here, our clothes, towels, anything we need. They're very, um, very deep and very big. So these were custom as well. We built these ourselves and they stay shut when we travel, which is really nice. Um, we also um, have a window at the foot of our bed with a woven shade. Um, it's nice to lay there and look out the window when, when you're in a pretty setting. Um, we also added two sconces on either side of our bed, um, 12 volt bulbs in each sconce. We each have a, um, a, a light switch to turn them on and off. And Roger has a handy shelf over in the corner of his bed so he can put his glasses and his phone there at night when he goes to bed. So this is this is the bed room area and now we can move on to the dining room. Okay, so let's talk about our di little dining area that we did. Um, this was like an, kind of an afterthought. We had extra uh, walnut from the countertop and we just figured if it ever we had a rainy day and we really wanted to sit inside and play cards or 
eat a meal or do something like that or just needed an extra um, counter space that this would be a good thing to do and it doesn't take up any space because it folds down so it's really easy to put up um, we have a clip down here to keep it secure when we're traveling and you just have to unclip it and put it up and then you fold over the leg here and we got a little stop there so it stops it from going too far and that's it that's the that's the table and the stools here that we built are triple action stools um, they are good for the for sitting at the table um, they are just the right height and they are also good for storage we have lots of storage in them um, this is for the dog towels extra blankets and this one is for our dirty laundry when we're traveling and they are also used for us to get in and out of the bed so that's why they're a little bit higher um, it lets us get in and out without um, worrying about falling they're very sturdy they're heavy um, and they have really thick rubber feet on them so they don't move around so they've worked really well and if we want to sit here and play some cards or eat a sandwich or um, just bring groceries home and we want a little extra space this is what we use okay so I got the table and the stools all back so we're all ready to travel again and I think that's it we worked our way around the camper Okay, so let's take a look at the back of the trailer. We're going to try to get this done in a hurry. We're kind of in between rainstorms here. So this is the back. Right here is where the back of the bunk is. And this is the bottom of the bunk right here. So we have all this storage space right here. Right over here is our electric panels. This is where all the 110 stuff is. And then we have all our 12 volt for the battery stuff right here. We have a water heater in the back. Electric water heater, about it's a, about it's a seven gallon water heater, and then if you look to the right a little bit, that's the back of the shelves that we saw on the inside of the trailer, or the drawers that we can pull out, keep all our clothes in and everything. And then we just store everything under here, plenty of room. If you look up a little bit, I've got a shelf built right here that we can store stuff in, and we're hanging stuff along the back of the bunk now. And uh, it'll get a little bit better as time goes on. We haven't put too much in it yet. Um, just going with the totes and everything. I don't want to put anything too permanent until we figure everything out. But uh, that's our storage. And I think uh, we might actually have more room than some of the fifth wheels out there right now.